to let's solve this problem. So a sphere has a radius of 5 meters and contains a positive 42 microcoulomb charge at its center. Then what is the area of the sphere? So to find the area of the sphere, so this is equal to 4 times pi times r squared or the radius squared. So to solve now for the area, so we have 4 times pi is 3.14 times the radius squared and the radius is 5 to the power 2. Then to find now the area equals, so we have 4 times 3.14 times 5 squared equals, so the area is 314 meters squared. Then to find the electric field of the sphere, so formula for the electric field, so this is equal to K or the column's constant, then times the charge over the distance squared or the range squared. Then from the given, so K, this is constant, so that's 9 times 10 to the power positive 9 times Q is the given charge. So we have 42 times 10 since micro. So to the power 6 then over the distance since the radius is on the center. So therefore distance is 5 squared. Then to solve now for the electric field, so first multiply these two numbers, then divide by 5 squared. So we have 9 times 42 equals, then divide by 5 squared equals, so we have 15.12. So we have 15.12. Then times 10 for the exponent, so we need to add these two exponents. So 9 plus negative 6, this is positive 3. Then for the unit for the electric field, this is Newton per column. And to rewrite this equation in a standard scientific notation, so we need to move 1 to the left. Since to the left, this is plus 1, so the electric field is equal to 1.512, then times 10 to the power positive 4 newton per column. Then to solve for the electric flux passes to the sphere, so formula for the electric flux, this is equal to the electric field times the area of the sphere. So since the electric field is equal to 1.512 times 10 to the power 4, so this is 1.512 times 10 to the power positive 4, then times the area of the sphere. So since the area is 314 meters squared, so we have 314 meters squared. So to find now the electric flux equals So this is 1.512 times 314 equals so 474.768 so 474.768 then times 10 to the power positive 4 the newton per meter then to rewrite this equation in a standard scientific notation so we need to move twice to the left so since to the left so this is plus 2 
So this is equal to 4.74768 then times 10 to the power positive 6 Newton per meter.